Welcome back to this special edition of the World Trade Webcast. Today we're continuing with the fourth part in our five-part interview with Rolf Larson, CEO of the Dot Global Registry. So Rolf, we've talked about the Dot Global domain's genesis. We've talked about its implications for businesses. Now let's talk a little bit more about how people can actually get a Dot Global domain. Can anyone register a Dot Global domain name? Yeah, absolutely anyone. You know, if you're an organization um, or if you're a business or if you're a consumer uh, anywhere in the world, you can register a dot global domain. Uh, and how it's done is, uh, is through uh, authorized resellers. And those authorized uh, resellers, they are recognized normally as the place you go to, to buy any other uh, domain name or to to help you with web hosting and uh, an email and such. That's usually where you can uh, acquire a .global domain. Excellent. And you mentioned um, in a previous segment that uh, one of the strategies for the .global domain space is a certain degree of exclusivity. And part of that uh, is related to the way that the domain is being priced. Could you talk a little bit about what the cost is for registering a .global domain name and talk a little bit about how that compares with other domains that may or may not be available? Yeah. Um, of course, uh, the general pricing of domain names uh, is changing a lot uh, these days with the, all, all the new uh, domain name links that, uh, that has arrived. Uh, and dot .global, um, I would say, is uh, more in the medium slash high medium side, uh, side of that uh, price range. Um, and in in the market, we would find that buying a global domain would be somewhere between sixty and hundred dollars per year. That's uh, that's basically what it costs. And uh, you could compare that to a typical consumer-based domain, which uh, you perhaps would pay ten or fifteen or twenty dollars per year for. So it's it's more expensive, but uh, but for a business, it certainly shouldn't uh, be a barrier. And that's also where we wanted uh, to put it, so that uh, you know we, we we want to have buyers that uh, that acquire these names for the right purpose, uh, not for you know uh, any kind of abuse or 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 you know mi misuse, but uh, but certainly to to do use it for for good values and, and thereby having a good uh, a good uh, reputation in uh, in the namespace of the global. Excellent, and that really makes sense. One of the big concerns for a lot of companies uh, with all these new domains that are becoming available is protecting their intellectual property. How can trademark yeah. owners protect their intellectual property with the dot .global domain space? So, of course, the easiest way to protect your uh, brand name is to register a dot .global domain, That's, uh, and that goes for uh, any of the new uh, domain names. It's, uh, it's important to register what you feel is relevant uh, for your brand. And we believe that for, for very many brand names uh, are registering and capturing a .global domain for the brand names that, uh, that the business holds is, uh, is the best way to protect your brand. Now, there are, uh, there are systems out there to, to um, use to protect or to at least um, um, say uh, alert uh, uh, end users uh, about your trademarks or or, um, or brands. Uh, that's called uh, uh, the trademark clearinghouse. Uh, so it's a place where where you can go and, and register your trademarks. Uh, it uh, it doesn't prohibit anyone to register these names, um, but it, it will give uh, a notice to uh, anyone that wants to buy a domain name that uh, there are. Um, one or more uh, trademarks connected to that very uh, that very name, um, and uh, and it also gives you uh, the the right to access the launch of some of these new uh, domain endings, uh, meaning that you can take your brand your brand name uh, before the general public uh, has access to register names. Now, for dot global, that that uh, time um, was last summer, so it's not uh, it's not possible to to access that uh, limited uh, registration period anymore. But uh, we are now in what we call general availability, meaning that anyone can register, 
And, uh, and the best way now to, to protect your brands is to capture uh, the global domain for all your uh, trademarks or all your, your brands that you want to, to protect. Very good. Thanks, Rolf. And thanks for watching. Please tune in again for the fifth and final part of our interview with Rolf Larson, CEO of the Dot Global Registry, online at go.global.